Hello, my viewers. My name is Sidi Menek Benyang Wesu Sunday. I welcome you all to my channel on PU Formal Academy. The PU Formal Academy is the experience that works. In my presentation today, uh, we shall be looking at the relationship between density and water. And this data was generated uh, from those formulations without methylene chloride. And as I said, that methylene chloride and water are being uh, uh, determined factors that determine the density at which one intend to produce. Because methylene chloride acts as a coolant, while water acts as a uh, chief blowing uh, agent, you know. Foam reaction is exothermic in nature. What does that mean? Heat is generated from the system to the environment. So the function of MC is to take this heat away from the system so that the foam would be safe and it will not get ignited. So uh, methylene chloride is a coolant. You can produce high density foam without methylene chloride, but you cannot produce low density foam. You can produce high density foam without methylene chloride, but you cannot produce low density foam without methylene chloride. But both density, you must use water. That is how water is so important in both density that is in the uh hd that is the high density the medium density and the lower density of their various uh, application in the industry now looking at this table this table just like i said is the data generated specifically from those formulations that do not require methylene chloride that is, we call it water blown formulation. You only use water to control the density. That is what it means. Now, look at the part by 100 of polyol and the density. So, if you want to make a foam density between 40 and 50, you choose a part per 100 of your water between this range. Same thing to 38 or uh, 33 to 38, 25 to 32, 22 to 24, 20.8 to 21.7. These are the water uh, uh, range. But remember, by doing so, you need to carry out laboratory tests just to check whether the targeted density is the same with the calculated uh, density before you go into a larger production uh, process because some of these data in some places may need to make some adjustment because of the location of the factory the atmospheric weather and the latitude or the altitude of your factory location can also affect the behavior of the water you understand so adjustment need to be Make in your place. So this is just a guiding uh, principle that will guide you to choose a water within a, a certain uh, range. But if you bring it MC into this formulation, the part per hundred of water will need to also be adjusted to meet up with the total blowing agent of that density that needed by bringing a MC. By taking into consideration that one part of water also have the same blowing effect like 7 kg of MC. Some countries use 8, but both will still achieve the same eh, density if all the formulation parameters are well determined. Okay? Is that not interesting? So continue to share my video on your notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified subscription is free just like i said it's going to be very interesting as you continue to subscribe because this will help you to <clears throat> standardize your production process specifically those in the uh, batch process and that of a continuous uh, process my key uh, problem is to see how I can help you optimize and standardize your production process. 
So we also welcome comment at the comment section. What we say, we will give you the reply that will help you. Thank you. Bye-bye.